The world's longest guided busway is set to revolutionise Cambridge traffic congestion. Cheaper, faster and smoother than its rail track counterpart, passengers on the guided busway will be able to connect to the internet by wireless connection. The Visionary Busway Project is the brainchild of Cambridgeshire County Council and supported by the Department for Transport. The £116 million scheme was first proposed in 2001 in response to concerns that Cambridge's road network was simply unable to cope. Every morning, thousands of frustrated motorists trying to get to work in the ancient university city sit in bumper-to-bumper -bumper queues on the notoriously congested A14. Journey times are slow and unpredictable, resulting in damage to both the environment and the local economy. The busway is a confirmation of the Council's commitment to providing long-term public transport alternatives and will connect Cambridge to the more rural market towns of Huntingdon and St Ives, as well as the planned 10,000 homes in the new town of North Stowe. What makes the busway unique is its utilisation of the disused railway lines running along the Cambridgeshire Fens. When complete, it will be by far the world's longest guided busway, more than twice the length of the current longest. A concrete channel has been built along the 16-mile disused tracks, into which the two small guide wheels at the front of each bus will fit. These guide wheels are fitted in front of the bus's regular wheels and are the only difference between the guided buses and their standard counterparts. This means the bus can switch seamlessly between the track and roads, making it far more flexible than traditional forms of public transport. More than 5,700 beams will make up the busway track. Each 15 metre pre-cast concrete piece of track weighs 15 tonnes and was manufactured at the main construction site in Longstanton. Pre-cast beams are far more precise, which means the Cambridgeshire busway is much smoother than any other in the UK. The track is basically a concrete road uh, with a couple of ridges at each side of it and the guided part of it are very small guide wheels on the buses themselves which give you a very smooth ride. The maximum speed the buses can go is about 50 to 60 miles an hour and it does feel very much like being on a train, a very smooth train when you're riding along. On trial days, the busway has received great feedback. It was, it was very smooth and I really enjoyed it. And I think if you've got to use it to go to and from work, it's got to be the best way to travel. Uh, an excellent smooth ride, far better than the roads. Good. It's absolutely exhilarating to be able to travel at 56 miles an hour and in the outskirts of Cambridge. Yeah, it's very smooth. Uh, it'll be very good. The best bit was watching the driver without his hands on the wheel. The council decided to invest in a guided busway rather than simply lay a normal road for numerous reasons. The reason we went for a guided busway is because we're in a very narrow corridor in a number of places, both in some of the built up areas where we're in the old railway line and out in the in the Ouse Club plain area where uh, we're on an old railway embankment. We can't make that embankment any wider because that would affect the flood storage volume and affect flooding in the nearby villages. So we've got to fit down a narrow corridor. So that draws us on the guided route because a guided busway is narrower than a road. And um, then we get advantages in terms of drainage and that the hard surface is less than half of what it would be for a road. So we've got less water to drain and deal with and that again is important in a flood prone area. And then the area that's left between the guided buses, we can allow that to, to green up and the plants that we grow before those railway ballots can regrow and that's good for things like butterflies or invertebrates as there's biodiversity patches in it as well. As the total width of the guideway is less than a standard road, the council has spent less money on land purchase and minimised the impact on the environment. Studies have also shown that the number of people who would use a busway is higher than bus lanes or bus-only roads. The development of the busway project reaffirms Cambridge's credentials as one of the most environmentally friendly county councils in the UK.